MMA locker room here, a part of Puff Sports Radio, and we got the man, the myth, the legend, the gangsters in town, Chell Sonnen himself. How you doing today? Never better, man. How's you? How you doing? Oh man, I can't complain, man. We're at a star study event out here in California. Yeah, I, I got to tell you, uh, Fedor's last fight, and, and that's kind of stealing the. And I don't know if we should be talking about that because we got two world title fights. We got Ryan Bader. Uh, you know, we got we got CBS, but for some reason, the fact that it's the last time to see Fedor is kind of the narrative out here. It definitely is the narrative, but I mean, like you said, you got other explosive fights on there. Besides those, what is one of the sleeper fights that you would consider the fight of the night? Well, I, I will tell you, a uh, fighter of the night might be Johnny Eblen. Now, he needs this fight, right? Tokov is the right guy. Tokov's won seven straight. He's won 24 of his last 25. That is a remarkably good record. The rumors that come out of fight camps that go through our industry almost always turn out to be true. I heard, I heard about a Mexican guy that was fighting out of the AKA named Cain Velasquez, and all of a sudden, next thing you know, he's the champion of the world. Uh, I heard the same thing about a young Brazilian named Junior Dos Santos comes to be champion of the world. I'm only sharing with you the rumors and the things that the American top team that is surrounded with success and does not need false valor. The, the, the Dan Lambert himself... These guys are bragging about what they're seeing in the workout room from Johnny Eblen uh, to, to a level that surprised me. I thought when he went out and beat Musasi, just by example, I thought Eblen had the greatest fight of his life, and I thought that maybe Musasi had his worst. That doesn't make me a jerk as a critic. I think a lot of people, that's what we see when we get surprised. Right? That was a surprise of how dominant Eblen was. Just sharing with you that what I am hearing, they are not worried about Tokov. That surprises me. Tokov intimidates me, and I don't got to fight the guy. And... They, they, they think he's going to win all five rounds uh, and at a minimum four, four of the five. For Johnny Eblen, I'm just sharing with you, if, if that performance is as good as they say it is, that Dan Lambert himself is saying it's going to be, we're going to remember it. Speaking about a night to remember, I mean, how would it be if actually Fedor was to get that championship belt with it being his last?